Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to build this simple dimmer box that I use for my China Ball lights, but it could be used for many other things as well. Let's get started. Here I've got the tools that I'm going to need. I've got my dimmers that came with the wire nuts. I've got my two gang box and cover plate. I've got some of the tools that I'm going to need. And of course I've got my extension cords that I'm going to cannibalize for this project. First thing I'm going to do is make my supply cord by cutting off its end about six inches from the plug. I couldn't find my wire strippers, so again I'm using scissors to strip the ends of these about oh three quarters of an inch back. Now you'll notice here one of the wires has ribbing. This is the neutral wire. The other wire is smooth. This is the hot side. Here's my box. I'm probably going to want to set it down like that in the future, so I'm going to have to cut off this tab right here. So that means my wires will have to enter from back here on the top. But you simply use a screwdriver or something uh, to push in these little tabs so that you can get your wires through. And then this hole here is where my uh, supply line will come through. And then I think I'll use the two center tabs for my output lines. Just, I really should have stripped this after I put it in the box. It would have been a little easier but oh well. Okay, and I'll cut this cord off from its plug, about six inches. I always leave a little extra so that I can use those later when I need to splice them for something else. Punch out these two center tabs so that I can insert my two output wires. Got to be a little forceful there. And then stick them through and give them a yank. I went ahead now and I'm joining up all of my neutral wires so that I don't make a mistake of joining a hot and a neutral. And then of course I taped up the wire nut so that it can't possibly fall off. That's always a good idea. And now I'm finishing up the hot wires. Now I'm joining up my incoming hot wire to one of the black wires from each dimmer. The power will come in and then split off to uh, each dimmer switch. So I just join them all together right here. Then I'll secure them with a wire nut and then tape it down. And now I'll go ahead and join up the output wire to one of the dimmers and then do the same thing with the wire nut and the tape. Now one thing that bugs me a bit is I don't have uh, grounded plugs here, but for the light bulbs that I'm using, a uh, simple two-prong socket's really all I need. So I'm just going to end up joining the ground wires together uh, in case I want to upgrade later. And then of course here I tape them together too. Eventually I'd like to upgrade all three of my cables to grounded plugs, but the grounded ones cost about twice as much, and for what I'm doing this was fine. Here you can see this nice mess that I've got. I need to figure out which one. This one goes on the right side. Make sure that I've got the dial oriented correctly so that when I turn it full counterclockwise, it's off. Okay. And now I just shove them both into the box. Finish it off here. Okay. And now I'll install my cover plate. And you can see my holes line up fairly well. But I'll need to slide the things just a bit. And then I'll just tighten it down. Make sure the screws all point the same direction, of course. And then put my knobs on. And that's it. The only thing left to do is to trim off the uh, tabs from the blue box. But you can see they work nicely and they turn off when you turn them all the way to the left. So you can see here it's fairly portable. It's got the input, the two outputs, and the two dimmers. If you've already subscribed, thanks a lot. Uh, it means a lot to me that, to know that you're watching, that I'm able to help you out. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe today. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.